Hello everyone and welcome to my take on solving homework 5 which is about bee trees and just to get you accompanied a bee tree is basically a tree but it ensures that all children are on the same level the reason why we want this is because if we were to include a binary search tree this value would be 50 this could easily be like 40 like if we insert 40 then it could be 30 then it could be 20 etc that's a valid bee tree and the next one could be 60, 70, 80, etc. And well, this is this is a valid B tree, but if we wanted to find node 80, then it would go all the way to the bottom, and this would take O of n time, which we don't want. It can be a lot faster with O of log n of time by making a B tree. Right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do, uh, we'll start with input 2. Okay, so a B tree, make sure that all children are on the same level. And the way it does this is by it, um, once like a node is full, then it'll split and bring it up to the top child. Okay, so we'll start with a B tree. The degree is how many children it has. So for this example, for input, see, I'll start with input 52. The degree is 4. I'll keep that up here. Degree equals 4, so that means that children can be 4. There c I'm sorry, there can only be 3. I'm sorry, there can only be 4 children, and there can only be 3 keys, n minus 1 keys. Alright, let's get started then. So, first thing we do is we see that uh, the root is empty, so first things we'll just add this node up here will be 13 and to keep in mind since the children is since there can only be three values we instantiate a vector with no children but it's just empty at first so like these are just zero at first but we need to add that in just for simplicity's sake then we add 28 that's fine then we add one we don't need to sort it yet that's fine and then when we add 32 then it sorts the vector uh, it'll be 1 13 28 32 it'll take the middle value of that, this 13 right here, and then it'll make that the new parent node. It'll make this the new parent node, because it's the middle. And then everything to the left of the middle child in the sorted vector would go into this one, so that'd be 1, 0, 0, but we don't need that for now. And then in here will be 28 and 32. Everything to the right of the middle value will go in here. And that's zero, but we won't say that. Right. Okay, next thing, we add in the 81. You always have to make sure that you're inserting at a leaf node. So, bam, 81 goes here. And then next we have to add 17. And then the same process continues where we have to split this leaf up because it's full. So then again, we have to sort it with this first vector. And then here's the new middle child. So this will be sp this will go into the parent node right here. Right here. And then everything to the left goes into a child, and everything to the right goes in the next child. So I'll just do this really quick. So first of all, 28 gets pushed up here, 17, and then, bam, to the right of it was the, right, it was a 32 and 81, 81. Alright, so next step. Uh, I'm just going into like the way hardest part, just so I can keep explaining. 28. Okay, so next we put in 72 in this leaf node. Okay, so that's fine. And then once we add in this 70, it's the same process, we have to sort it. 32, 80, 32, 70, 72, 81. This gets pushed up here. Alright. 
70 gets pushed up here. Everything to the right of 70 goes in here. Everything to the other side of it. So that'd just be 77 and... My bad, 72 and 81. Alright, so now we can just keep adding in. After 70, we push in 77. And that just goes in here. 58, we just go in here, because it's between 28 and 70. 51 would also go in here. 24 goes in between these. 25 goes in here. 5 goes in here. Right, excuse me. I'm just verifying that my work is right. Alright, so when we add the f next 55, it would do the same thing. It would um, do the same thing where it creates this 32, 55, 51, 55, 58. It'll take the middle value, then it'll go up here to this 51. But notice that the parent node is actually full this time, so let me create another pane actually. So we have thirty oops, we have thirteen, fifty one, fifty five oops, I'm sorry, thirteen, twenty eight, fifty one, and seventy. So we have to take this middle child and make it go he here. It's now our new root node. So make sure that you return this root node right here. Um then everything to the left of it becomes parent node, everything to the right of it becomes a parent node, there's 70 right here, and then this is also the tricky part, so remember from this side where we had to split this up, so you have to make a total of 5 nodes now, 32, uh, 32, bam, bam, and then 55, and 81. So we have these two nodes now. And then now, all of the right nodes, uh, now that everything to the left of the middle, like all of the nodes to the left of the midpoint, and since it's left bias, then we put in only the 0, 0, we put in the 1, and the 5, and we put this 17, 24, 25, and then this node gets all of the new ones, 32, this is getting really big, I'm sorry, 55, 58, 72, 77, and 81. Alright, since this is for input 2, here's our new tree, by the way. If I can erase this. Alright, and the rest of the process should be easy, because... Um, let's see. We were at 55, I believe. So at 68, now we just... 68. We traverse to a leaf node. Find where it is. It's, um... Let's see. Between these, so you just add 68 here. 24. Oh, in your input, make sure that you don't count duplicate values. Just for homework. 5 purpose. Uh, 28, we do the same thing here, we add it to this one, but then we have to split it up, the root node, sorry, the, the middle node goes into here, so that would be 24 here, we just erase this, everything to the left of it, It'd just be 17 and 25 and 28, 17, 25, 28, bam. <laughs> It would look like this. Let's see. 
we put in 8, that goes in here, no problem. 19 goes here. But basically the code keeps doing the same. And I think if you add in the rest, you should be able to fill out everything because like, let's just say this parent gets full and then we add something up into here. This is only if this node has four children. Then that means that we just pass it up to here. So we still have a lot of room to work with. Okay. And I think that is my general explanation for for how we um, insert. But now let's talk about traversing because we weren't allowed to use DFS, I believe. Or, or let's talk about how we are going to talk about how we're going to find the rest of them. I think I had it over here. We weren't allowed to use level order, so I think I had print parent. Alright, so uh, I'll just bring this up. So let's say we're talking about these. Let's say we wanted to find the 72. There. In this instance, um, you just keep searching, going down until like 72 is greater than the root node 28. So then you go right here. 72 is greater than 51 and 70. So then you go down here. And then it should be in here because it's a leaf. Okay, but now let's talk about how we print out all of the elements for like a certain level. So. First, we had. Oops. <laughs> print out level 10. And in this, you would have a counter. Like every time you would have to create like a new parent, you, ha you create a counter. And then basically for level 10, if that counter is less than. If that counter is less than uh, this level, then you just return empty. Same with level 9. And then for level 2, uh, basically you would just start at the root node. You would traverse down to all of the leaves. And like, if it's a leaf, then you add it to a string. So, um, you start at the parent, you go down to 13, then you say, like, since it's one node before, like, where all the children are, then you can print out like all of the children in order, like um, parent dot at zero, parent dot at one, parent dot at two. Then you can add that to a string. Then you can count it. Same with this one. You start. You just add all of the children to a vector, and then you print it. So that'd be at level two. At level one. You would just do the same. At level one, it's basically the root node, so you just return the roots values. Level three, I, I meant to describe like going to print out all the children. At level two, you would print out these two. At level two, you'd basically just say, um, "Hey, start at the root, go down one level, and then find out, print out all the children there." And there you go. There you have it. I think that pretty much wraps up my explanation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.